What's up YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how I make my videos in 2022. So, for starters, you might be asking yourself, where have I been? Why am I so quiet when it comes to the microphone? And what on earth have you been doing these past 8 or 9 days whenever I'm able to upload this? Well, my friends, it's because I have school. So yeah. That's my excuse. What about yours? No, but in all seriousness, if you're wondering why I'm talking this way and not like this overly ecstatic voice, it's because I'm trying something new in Adobe Audition. You're already hearing it right now. And it's probably a big shock to y'all right now because of how clean the audio sounds. And that's because I've been watching a couple videos on how to improve the audio in Adobe Audition. So, yeah. That's basically what I've been doing for the past week or so. Anyways, let's begin. Okay, so how I record is still in Bandicam um, 2020. And if we go over to video, you can see that my video is H264 dash Intel registered sign quick sync video VBR 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. And there's some other stuff too. This is basically what it looks like. So it's an MP4. And then it's all this stuff. I also put CFR and this too, as well as the key from interval at 60 because I think that helps. I'm not sure. I could do one, but I'm not sure about that. And also make sure that the quality is 100. And these are my audio settings too. Now, for the audio and sound, this is what it is. So my speakers are my speakers, and my microphone is a secondary device, which I use to my microphone separately. So how this works is, I would press this button, and it would only give me an audio file, as well as the video that contains audio, but it's not the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the one that's a separate. That's the one I'm going to be editing in Adobe Audition. The other audio can be edited in post, or rather in Cyberlink PowerDirector 18. And yeah, that's about it. I don't use webcam. The only thing I have for mouse is my cursor, nothing else. I have no logo, no text, because I don't like that anymore. And options, I just put it on high and everything else is gone. Okay, so that's Bandicam for you. Um, my gameplay settings aren't really that different. Now, unfortunately, I can't really show in this video, but it's basically the same thing, except it's actually a lot smoother because when it comes to recording, say, Roblox, the frame rate is a lot more consistent sometimes with an asterisk on that because sometimes it could get really laggy and I can't really do anything about it. If your product is a super laggy mess, that's the worst nightmare for a video editor, kind of like me. It sucks, you can't really do anything about it. Which is why some videos like this one, for example, was a laggy mess. And I tried my best, honestly. Even then, it just didn't work out in a way. I still uploaded it, but I wasn't really too proud of the final product. Okay, moving on, we're going to move on to Adobe Audition. Okay, so the version I use of Adobe Audition is Adobe Audition 2021. So, um, I don't really want to get too complex with this, but I'll link two videos out that really help me to make the audio sound really good. And these videos are actually super well made. Like, they're absolutely wonderful. My goodness, man. My, my voice sounded so different when I first played it back and I was like whoa that's what I sound like surprisingly yes with a fine-tuned microphone it'll capture your inner essence down to the freaking decibel that's how precise it is okay so moving on to the editor and here we go this is Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 Ultimate if you don't believe me take a look at that I'm sure you can find some useful information here Cool. So here's another tip on Cyberlink Pad Director 18. Um, if you want to make text and you want to keep it consistent throughout the video, click on this little button right here where it says create a new title template and then put 2D title or 3D, however you like. And then once you get to the title designer, you can go ahead and manipulate it. So in this case, I'm just going to pick my personal font, which is my YouTube channel font. I just edit it, put all the little kinks in there, make sure that looks nice and clean, 
Sure, we could just put it like that, but I prefer to make it look down south. So then after, it looks like this. Oh yeah, make sure to use this too. Make sure it has a line to canvas and make sure you put vertical center and horizontal center whenever you're putting text somewhere or do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And if you want to put text sporadically, just click on the text, uh, uncheck align to canvas, and you can move it wherever you want. But also make sure to uncheck snap to reference lines as well. And then at that point, you can put it wherever you want, and then you should be good. And then once you're done, just press OK. Enter a name for it. So for this, I'm just going to call it LOL. Uh, just put it like that. I don't know why you would need to do that, but yeah, you could put like custom things in it too. And there we go. You can use it wherever you want. And then once you put the text in your video, you can double click it. And then you can put something in here. Just press OK. And then boom, there we go. That's it. It's that easy. It saves me so much time. Before, I would have to keep doing this. I would have to go to all content. Select this one, drag it down, pick the custom font that I want to use, and then put all those effects again and again and again. And I never do this until recently when I actually figured out how to do it. That's how I did it. Save me so much time later on. I highly recommend that you do that. Okay, so another tip that I would recommend is if your video playback becomes laggy, just go over to this button over here where it says set preview quality slash display options. Make sure the preview quality is at around this area, around high, normal, low, as well as putting on real-time preview. Non-real-time preview will help, but I don't recommend it because if your video has audio in it, which it most likely will, I would recommend you don't press that. Cool. Okay, so the produce. Um, for this one, it's a little bit off because I have like a bunch of these. It's actually kind of the same thing as last time, except with a few minor changes. So I would put descriptions. And if you're curious on how I did this, I would pick H.264 AVC, uh, click on custom and not default because the defaults won't help. You have to go to custom. You have to click on the plus button that says create a new profile. Name it whatever the quality is or whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Put a description if you want to. You can edit that if you want, but you won't be able to change your profile name unless you delete it after. Then for the video, pick your quality setting, your resolution, your frame rate. I recommend 60 unless it's a different frame rate for you. Progressive, high profile. Keep it at C A B A C. Anything else would be a bad idea. The bitrate is kind of weird because uh, depending on what resolution you put it at, your bitrate will vary. So what I would do is do some research or if you're too lazy to do research, here you go. Here's a screenshot of what I would use for my produce. It's not the best and it does use a lot of space, but it gets the job done. The only issue with this is that it takes a long time to render videos, even at 720p60, it takes an incredibly long time. I also like to put surround sound on my videos because I think it does something to it. I would also put living room and not any of these other ones because it would be kind of strange if it were shown in a theater or stadium. So yeah. <laughs> but then once you're ready, just press start. I don't recommend you press this unless you want to. Uh, I would just press start and then it will just go. And you should be good. Okay, so the final part of making my videos is the uploading process. That's actually pretty simple, actually. So I'm going to go through it quickly. Okay, so this is my YouTube studio. If I go to settings and then upload defaults, you can make your own default for your videos. So if your videos have a specific format, I highly recommend you make an upload default as it'll save time of having to get links and everything. So. It just really helps with keeping yourself organized and minimizing the amount of stress that you have to do with your videos. So you will make a title. That's what my title is. My description is pretty standard. It has a lot of characters actually. 
3918 to be precise. And I add a lot more than that. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'll put the visibility to unlisted so I have extra time to put the end screen elements. My tags is just one single one, which is my only, which is my channel name, nothing much. And then once you go to advanced settings, um, that really depends. You can also put automatic chapters, but I don't really like that. I'll put entertainment, although that could change. Standard YouTube license, everything's in English, unless otherwise. And I will put my comment visibility to hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. If you put hold all comments, that would be a little strange. And it'll be even stranger if you allow all comments, which is a bad idea, honestly. So yeah, that's basically my default. I actually have a whole other one. I called it YouTube Live, and this is when I'm going live. So it's still not much, but it still helps. And oh, I don't think I ever mentioned this in any of my videos, but I use TubeBuddy. And that's my about page on my channel. Okay, so that's about it. Sorry my voice was a little too quiet and mumbly. I just want to make sure that when I'm editing this audio, it doesn't do anything too crazy. And also, I kind of like talking this way sometimes. I don't know, just talking quietly, soothingly, not like ASMR, but just in a way that seems calm and relaxed. It just has that special vibe to it, you know? I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but think of Bob Ross, you know? His calm presence, his soothing voice, the way his paintbrush just flows with the canvas. I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah. Long story short, I just hope this audio actually sounds good when I'm editing. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, thanks. If you didn't, tell me down below in the comments what I can do to improve the next one. Alright, bye everyone.